Hello, TFR Wilderness here, and uh, yeah, another KTRT review for you today. And yes, um, as you were, uh, if, if you're a <coughs> subscriber of my channel, you'll know that the last KTRT review I did, um, I uh, did that thing where I obscured the details on the thumbnail at the beginning of the video. Now, I will say up front now that that was an experiment to see if it could improve the low um, viewing figures that I've been getting on my KTRT reviews of late. And to some extent, it was a semi-successful experiment. Um, I'm, I was only a test to see how it would go. Um, yes, I got some, some, some. You know, obviously, me being me, I caused a bit of controversy with it, and uh, you know, some people put some uh, grumblings in the comments section, but that, that's to be expected. But um, I'm also doing another exper experiment with this video. Um, something that I've, I, I don't know if it is a thing, but I'm just trying it out. Anyway. Um, it's another KTRT review, and what I'm going to be doing with this one is, for the first couple of days, this video is going to be unlisted. I'm not going to actually be visible on YouTube. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the link and I'm going to post it on uh, an item, a, a new item I'm going to put on my Gemma account. So if you are um, come to this video because you've clicked on the link on the, uh, the Gemma item I put up for the review of this toy, then hello. Please put a, well, you, you can't put a thing down in the comments because comments, you'll be watching it on the, the, the Gemma portal. So, but I just want to see if um, by posting um, <clears throat> these uh, photo galleries of the toys and my KTRTs in Gemma and linking them to the YouTube video is bringing any traffic across to my YouTube videos. I just want to see if it's a thing. If not, then I just, you know, <laughs> never mind. But uh, it's another experiment. I'm just going to see how it goes. Um, I have posted, uh, a, put a, a number of KTRT figures on my Gemma account in the past, but I've sort of, in recent times, I've sort of ignored it and, and I won't say abandoned it, but I've sort of, you know, not really bothered with it. And I, when I, before, when I did it, I, I linked them to the videos, and I think it may or may not have contributed to some extra viewing figures. I don't know, but anyway, that's what I'm trying out with this video. So anyway. Today's video is a review on this chap. This is Tobot Athlon Season 2 Tornado. And before we get too deep into it, let's have a uh, quick look at the box. There's the box, typical Tobot Athlon box. Big window with a shiny card back, backdrop. It's got these sort of line art graphics. It's got the, the name of the character there, picture of his alt mode. And on the side, picture of the robot mode. Then on the back, you've got a picture of his, you know, his car mode, his robot mode, and then you've got the uh, his uh, his pilot dude. And uh, it's a it's a level one transformation, so it's fairly easy. More art on there, art on the top, and nothing underneath. So that's the box. It's a usual heavy card stock, big chunky box, which pretty much all Tobots come in. Um, it comes with uh, comes with a set of instructions, which are uh, which show you how to transform the robot in both directions from car to robot and robot to car, which is good. Which is something that you know, transformer instructions could learn from something about, because usually when you get a transformers toy, the instructions only go in one direction. Um, also comes with a set of decals, but as you can see, I've applied most of the decals except for these small. Um, Sponsored equals here, and the police logo. Now I'll get to that in a moment. Um, so let's have a look at the car mode. And as you can see, he's a, a very sort of swish, stylish, sporty police car. Um, it's got sort of painted lenses on the front, painted grille, like a Tobot badge there. It's got nice silver wheels, and I don't know whether you can see, but there's there's vented discs moulded into the wheels, which is pretty cool. Um, it's got all these strakes down the side. Uh, it's got mirrors. It's got um, transparent lights on the top. You go around the back, and it's got some uh, painted light detail on the back. And uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. Not quite as heavy as some of the other um, Tobot Athlon figures. He's, he's a little bit lightweight, but we'll get to that in the robot mode. And then obviously underneath is it's a robot scrunched up. So yeah, um, it's got. It rolls extremely well, and obviously I've applied the decals to this, which is uh, that there, and then black window decals there, 
the number three on the back then you've got these yellow bits here you've got that sticker there these little sponsor decals here and but now on the art box art it shows him as having this police logo on the side of the car now you only get one on the decal sheet not two so you can only apply it to one side now this is a gripe I have with certain toys and models where you get stickers to put on them and they don't give you enough stickers to replicate the uh, the sticker scheme on both sides of the vehicle very annoying and they've been doing that a lot with these Tobot Athlon figures um, that's why I haven't been uh, putting the decals on all of them because they didn't quite come with a full set of decals this guy mostly came with uh, a set of uh, you know, um, symmetrical detail, decals. Um, it's got these extra smaller, you know, spurious um, sponsor decals, which I didn't bother to put on. So yeah, so there's the uh, there's the car mode. Um, pretty cool car mode. Uh, decent character in the show. I've recently rewatched um, season two of uh, Tobot Athlon, and uh, yeah, it's a good show. It's all about you know playing robot dodgeball, and this is one of the the guys there's an interesting scene in this because uh, the the, uh, the character that the pilot kid I'm not sure what his name is um, he's he's really mad he's, he's always eating all the time and he, he's like you know you that, that you get this in all the uh, the Korean shows in Vyklons in Tobots they always go around at the dinner table and start scoffing food and uh, it makes me feel hungry just watching it but um, apparently the, the the mind core which is the the glowing blue orb which is the brain of the, the towbot before he became a towbot and they were sort of in the room watching the meat and they was watching him eating such and things and he, he really wanted to taste the food but because he's a robot he can't taste so they put a, a special sensor on one of his fingers so he could touch food and, and know what it tastes like and then, <laughs> then I think he, he tasted some suit some food and it was it was like I don't know whether it was really disappointing or what but it it put him into a right downer but um, yeah Weird stuff goes on in these these Tobot shows, but they're they're fun to watch. Um, yeah, so there's the car mode. It's a big swoopy car. It's got lots of curves on it, lots of colours. It's got like um, the very dark blue. It's got the light blue and the white and the silver and some bits of red and some yellow bits as well. So yeah, cool looking car. So let's get on to transformation now. To start off, you pull that, and that's obviously for the legs. Then you uh, pull out the feet and the heels, like that, and then split the legs. And that's, that's the legs done. Now for the arms. Pull the arms up slightly. You then bring these shoulder pieces round, like that. Then on the, uh, the forearms, you've got this, this piece here, which hinges up on a little linkage like that, like so. Then on the backpack, you pull the roof up, move it forward, and then just, just tilt that bit back. And then finally, you flip out the fists from inside the arms. So it's got a pretty simple transformation and there we have Tobot Athlon Tornado in his robot mode and he looks really really cool. Um, he's got a, a pretty a, a decent head sculpt, he's got loads of like, like cameras and lights and on the side of his head. Um, obviously you've got the uh, police logo here, number three. Um, again some decent sort of paint apps going on round and about. He's a very colourful chap. I like the look of this guy. He looks really cool. But as you can hear, he's a bit he's a bit rickety because unlike other Tobots, Tobots generally tend to be made out of really chunky plastic. Very, very tough chunky plastic. But this guy, I mean, you look at these these door pieces here, they're quite they're quite thin. Um, and the, the plastic they've used is it's kind of thin. It's disappointingly thin compared to what what you get on other Tobot figures. So as as such, he, he just feels a bit loose and rickety. But we'll move on. Um, 
articulation. Uh, it's a toe bot. <laughs> Not the most articulated thing, as as per normal. Before we get any further, um, does have another gimmick. He does have the the mind core. So if you push his head forward, chest flips open, and then you get this this little car. Now this is the the mind core or the mind car, and inside this bubble is where his brain goes, which is like a, a like a glowing ball with lots of little little knobs on it that sort of glows, sort of fluorescent colours, and uh, that goes in. And then obviously they've got this little hatch here. You put it in, shut it up, and then that activates the robot. So anyway, getting on to articulation. Head does not move. Obviously, if you move it forwards, it then opens the little flap for the uh, the mind core gimmick. Um, shoulders, ratchet shoulders, they go all the way round. They don't go particularly far out. They only go that far out. These pieces do clash with the backpack, which is unfortunate. Um, now, this guy does have bicep swivels, which is great, and. Tobot Athlon Beta, the first Tobot Athlon figure I got, he also got um, bicep swivels. Now this guy doesn't necessarily need them for transformation, so I wonder whether they put them in for extra extra articulation. And if that's the case, then maybe Young Toys, the company that makes these, is starting to learn something. Um, anyway, so yeah, um, elbows, elbows go to 90 degrees, and then that's that. There's nothing at the waist, apart from perhaps he's got a very slight um, ab crunch, only a little bit, but it's, it's barely noticeable. Hips, he can, yeah, he can do the Van Damme. Um, hips go that far forward. Now going back, obviously they, they strike this backpack, so they go back that far. No waist joint and no um, no thigh swivels, unfortunately. Um, knees, knees go to 90 degrees, and then you've got the feet. Um, again, they're cut at an angle to give you a neutral A stance, and you can sort of move them forwards and backwards a little bit due to transformation. So that is Tobot Athlon Tornado. He's a pretty cool little figure. Um, not quite as solid or as heavy as other Tobot figures, unfortunately. It seems a little bit slight. Um, he does have a little bit more articulation than the average Tobot. And he's a very smart looking car. So he, he's decent. And if you're collecting uh, you know, the Tobot Athlon figures, then he's definitely worth picking up. Um, if you just got a thing for transforming police cars he's also you know pretty decent and uh, worth picking up but um you know <laughs> any transformer collector probably would not wouldn't even bat an eyelid at something like this because it's it's a, you know it's not megatron it's not ultra magnus it's not you know star scream it's not a, a known character from the uh, transformers world it's a uh, it's a thing all to itself and that's kind of what i like about these lines they they've Invented something of their own. The only thing they've got in common with Transformers is that they're vehicles that transform into robots. That's the only thing they've got in common. They're, they're, they're transforming robots. <laughs> That's the only thing they've got in common. Apart from that, uh, oh yeah, um, before we go, just a quick size comparison because I always like doing these. There he is next to Leader Megs, you know, Combiner Wars Leader Megs. And as you can see, it's a solid Leader Class scale bot, which most Tobot and Hello Carbot figures are. So yeah, that's been my review of this guy, Tobot Athlon Tornado. He's a pretty smart little figure. And uh, if you have, uh, well, <laughs> I'm hoping that with by linking this video to my Gemma account and the item that I'm going to put up for this guy, um, photo gallery I'm going to put up for that guy, uh, I will get a bit of traffic. And that's what this video is for. It's it's a test to see whether I get any uh, any any. Uh, any benefit from being a Gemma member? <laughs> so that's been me, TFR Wilderness. Um, uh, I've got uh, uh, Ultra Magnus updates to do. Uh, my Ultra Magnus restoration. I'm um, 
sort of uh, curing the sun fading on some parts as we speak. I've got some, uh, some white plastic parts outside baking in the sun with some chemicals on them to try and remove some of the, uh, the yellowing. And yeah, that's it. Um, obviously a couple more days and it'll be the end of the month butthole. So you'll, you'll, you'll see this guy again on, uh, on that video. So that's been me, TFR Wilderness. I hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll catch you all next time. Ta-da.